They usually are the other ones that ban Dampier. They like to ban that Dampier Scout, pretty much. Uh, yeah. Um, but they banned Ravener instead. That is that is interesting. I'm guessing that they want to make sure they win. Like, if you play a Dampier, you're either going to have um, someone sitting them in bottom, like, making sure that he's getting absolute free farm, or you're having a 1-2-2. Two, two. Mm -hmm. So by banning the Ravener, I'm guessing that they want to make sure that they're 100% winning the mid lane. Yeah. As well as getting farm in Dampier bottom. That would be my best guess. Uh, Engineer is... Okay, that's a trialing. <laughs> and their hand is shown. So, you, so you're pretty confident that's going to be trialing? I mean, it could be a 2-2-1, two, two, but... Yeah, it could definitely be a 2-2-1, two, two, but, it, like, th th this leaves SG with lo very little options. Uh, I mean, if you pick an Andromeda, there's no way they can run a, a short... Like, they can't run a Tempest now. Yeah. But you can still run attempts against Andromeda, but they're not going to do it because Andromeda is a very good counter to Tempest. And if they run the Tempest, they will try and bomb them and completely box them out. Yeah. So when they picked up the Andromeda, they've clearly showed that we do not want you to run a jungler there. If you do, we're going to try on your ass. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel like, at least. Um, yeah, no, that makes sense. I mean, you, you look at you got a feel, you Tempest, but all the junglers are still on the board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of them being picked up, and I kind of wonder if they're even going to be banned at this point, because neither team, you know, may be looking to go that that jungler route. But uh, Moon Queen, we got to see the Moon Queen here. Slap. That's uh, she's been a fun hero. I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the recent gaming yeah. game. Yeah. What you, you may have watched that highlight during the uh, during the break. No, not not at all. Not at all. <laughs> Some no, tears were shed. That was tears were shed. Yeah, so Moon Queen coming out here, that's obviously always scary. So we'll see what they do to kind of uh, to kind of address that. But Yeah, I can't. I mean, do you think we're going to see any bans on junglers here? Is, could State Green still go the jungler in the end? Yeah, they can, but I feel like and, uh, Lions doesn't care if they do. That's yeah. why they're not banning them. They they more, more so want to remove global presence heroes. <clears throat> yeah. uh, I think they're going to remove bubbles. And then some kind of like really active kind of hero. They're probably gonna remove Nephora. Uh That's also a very good global hero. Um, but even then, like they could still lead them in Nephora because, like I said, there, there's still a possible tri lane in the NG Andromeda Moon Queen. Moon Queen is still a very fine tri laner. And if you pick up an Nephora, it's I would say one of the weakest tri lane heroes in the game because she has very low stats, very low attack damage, and her stun is very unreliable. Yeah. And you already have a torture and Dampier. I just don't think it's a very good trial. No. So yeah, go ahead, sorry. Mm, no, you were right. They actually ban Autophilia here. Well, they um, do, but also then the Tempest banned by Stay Green. That's also a little interesting to me because the likeliness of Lions picking up a Tempest is, seems like that'd have been pretty low. Yeah, but I mean, you can still run an. I mean, Queen Andro short lane with a Tempest. But then that's a solo engine. Yeah, I don't that doesn't Tempest, make sense. No, I don't get the Tempest ban at all because there's no way Linus would have picked it. Yeah. I, no, well, actually, we forget the fact that Tempest can still solo lane. True. So the engine, the tri lane on the the right side could still be a tri lane, and they could short lane or mid lane the Tempest oh, no. pick. So I mean, that's probably they don't want to face it. Hmm. I would guess. Yeah, I mean, there's, I doubt they'll have this click by any means, but... Yeah, precise. I, I don't think that's, that's probably what they... it, yeah. Yeah. Okay. They pick up a Luna here, so... The dual support coming out, as expected. Yeah, they're not running a jungler on SG at all. There's really not any junglers left anyway, because Parasite was banned out by Handskin. I feel like Lions is very comfortable in their picks, and they feel like if SG chooses to try lane, we're going to win it against them. So, if all junglers are banned, we're still in the favorable spot. But I really, like, there's a few way. if a Dampir gets a lot of farm, and if a Moon Queen gets a lot of farm, the Dampir is still a better roamer in early mid-game, and can still turn that around quickly on the Moon Queen that she isn't very farmed anymore. So, I don't know how they're going to lane just by looking at these free picks right now. But it's safe to say that they, the Kraken is going to be suicide and they want to have a like, safe farm the Dampir and make him get a fast PKing room. Okay. So we talked about the last game. They banned Critics and this time not banned. Hmm. Going to end up in the hands of Jonas, a fan, I'm sure. And now we'll get a 
great amount of information, I'm sure, with the final pick coming out, really, especially on Lions' side, but still not 100% of what we're going to see. <coughs> Back over to Stay Green, though. They could either use a suicide here or a mid hero, I'd guess. Could be something like a rally. Good for either one of those. Pebble's still on the board. Mm. <laughs> suicide Swift Blade. <laughs> I thought, yeah. Th oh no. Oh no. Um. Uh. I really cannot say that. I can't call there, actually. Fade's still on the board. I know they like to run fade. I'm gonna go with fade. You're gonna go with fade, okay? Um, I can't tell how much time they have left. It's bugged for me, so. Thirty seconds. Okay, still a little bit of time. I I can't, I can't call a hero. I'm, I'm gonna. I I don't know. Sorry. You're, I got. Gonna gonna I had to me. call one. Yep. Well, okay. Well, I, I'm just gonna say rally then. <laughs> yeah. Just throwing a name out there. Fade. Berserker. That or Berserker? Hey! I won. Oh. I don't know. I really didn't expect him to pick up the fade, but I, I, I just feel like what, like an NG Magnus is going to beat the beat the fade Aluna, fade Aluna lane. Yeah. And uh, NG Moraxis and NG Lodestone. Any lane I can think of is going to beat that lane. That's why I didn't think they, go, they were going to pick it, but then again, SG plays fade really, really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I so really like yeah, one, I guess, yeah. guess I should have called the fade. Got it. <laughs> nope. You can't. Take oh, is that, is that going to be a behemoth? That oh, would be please something. Be a, please be a behemoth. That would be something. A farming behemoth. So something like an engine. No, no, no. That, that's, that's, that's that's not going to be a farming and behemoth. Flux. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, Flux NG Flux is gonna have free farm, and SG will not be able to kill that lane in straight. Like you can't kill a Flux. Yeah. So I I like that pick, and it synergizes really well with the Moon Queen. And but they don't uh, engineer Flux is also a very known combo. Like you pull them in, they cannot use their BKBs, etc. Oh, yeah. et so I I actually like the Flux pick, and I feel like that mid lane is gonna go in favor of Lions. <laughs> the Moon Queen Andro is gonna be top. Uh, Grenin's bottom. Uh, I, have, I have never seen a Grenin's suicide in action by Lions. Really? I did. No. I, I, I've only seen them like in replays, not like live I, like this. I forget which team they did it against. I'm trying to like double check. I'm looking at the brackets here. Cause I know we cast, I believe it was at this cycle. I believe I thought they did it against Reason Gaming, actually, in the second round. I think they might have done it against them. But it, we, it, it just dominated. I mean, it got an amazing, it got somewhat of a decent start, and his damage potential, just with levels alone, is pretty crazy. And he gets an early, you know, kind of a shield breaker, the abyssal skull, and it just is a very deadly hero. So, yeah, I can watch. see him. I can see him do a lot of work. Yeah. It's a, it's a very good hero in terms of roaming around and ganking. So I can see him. I can, I, in theory, I can see him do a lot of work. But I have never seen him in action by Jonas. So I'm very excited about this game. Yeah. We'll, uh, Oh, you know what I'm disappointed about? Fuzi is not using the new Moon Queen skin. That one the just Eclipse came out one? today. Yeah, the Eclipse one. You mean the very sexist one showing 90% of her body? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Awesome. I'd rather play this one. <laughs> Come on. This one is pretty badass, too. Yes, it's very badass. Um, but yeah, he's going to be at the top lane. Obviously, you see Engineer and Andromeda currently up here still, but... Gonna start going to late. So yeah, both teams kind of just protecting their own jungle. Obviously, no junglers by their team anyway. So not really any action taking place. Kraken is gonna start moving up here though. Lim trying to be sneaky. Oh, he's gonna be caught out though. He's gonna be spotted. A little bit of damage gonna be coming out. He's gonna probably level up the charge eventually. Yeah, there you go. That's a lot of region juice though. That's an immediate, yeah. an immediate health pot. Yeah, and he's mana, right? not gonna have a good time here. So, if we look at just straight facts now, we're going to have uh, a top lane where Moon Queen gets absolute free from, of course. And I don't feel like Kraken is going to be able to do anything. He doesn't have enough region to stay in the lane for very long, so I think he's going to be boxed out very early. Uh, mid lane should go in favor in creep kills uh, for Hellborn, but I don't think there's going to be a lot of kills there unless there's roaming coming. Uh, bottom, as I said, I don't even know what's going to happen there, so... No comments. Well, it's going to be interesting to see if we see... Oh, there we go. The Rev Ward. I was going to say, the Rev Ward or Dust coming out here. Because uh, that's just like for against a Scout, it's the similar concept. You know, you get something like that or a Keeper even. 
It really starts yeah. to hurt him. That dual lane, so. Off the bat, that causes some issues. But yeah, Jonas Fan definitely knows what he's doing with this hero, so it's going to be fun to see how that plays out. But expect a free farm ultimately on Dampier. Is what it comes yeah. down to. But yeah, I think I think I think Lion says two lines one. I'm, I'm 93% sure it's oh, initiation on mid. A little bit top lane too, so just a lot of back and forth right there. As far as the harassment is concerned. But, uh, no kills obviously coming out. What do you think of this flux change, by the way, that I like to take credit for? That's actually they're gonna jump on a little right here. No nope, burning shadow's gonna come out though, and that's gonna be the end of that. Although some hero blocking on a fade, but not enough follow up. Uh, no, a little bit joking, obviously, but uh, his passive, yeah, you know, he actually gets that from the beginning now, instead of having to level it up. Well, what do you, what do you think of that? Oh, that was you? Well, <laughs> I'll say this. I have brought that up a, a, a long time ago in the past. I, I brought it up. I'm not saying it was me, but there's a okay. good chance a lot of it was me. Uh, I, I heard a change, and I approved of it immediately, so it's, it's a very good change. Good. I like it, too. Right, definitely. Uh, yeah, it seemed like a pretty cool idea, so. Uh, yeah, he has yeah, that here, and kind of like that Master of Arms concept. Ooh, bottom lane, or top lane once again. Crack it again. He's going to Shinobi charge, but actually he's going to be in range of Moonbeam still, and the final auto attack. No, need one more. It is going to be enough. Bloodlust kill coming out for Hanskin there, playing the Andromeda. So, again, it's it was already expected to be tough, and he just was in range. That's the difference between Grenix and Kraken. Grenix has two escape mechanisms. He has two, two points of emphasis, and... Whenever he's out of the Revelation Ward, he's not going to be killed. Yeah. And Andromeda and Moon Queen is a very good combo. Like, as you saw, it's a, a lot of damage. And uh, Actually, I want to see this now. Um, yeah, just like I said, Swindle has two last hits. Mm -hmm. Flux has 15. <laughs> it's exactly what I'm what saying. Like, if, you, if you pick the fade, you, 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 you gave up your mid lane. You're not going to win it unless you get ganks off. And yeah. Torture cannot leave bottom lane. She cannot leave bottom lane whatsoever because Grenix will do a lot of work on this Stampyr and ruin a lot of farm for him. And at the same time, no one will ruin the farm top for Moon Queen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, so that's pretty crazy. They, yeah, they need, they need to kill mid because Swindle is not farming whatsoever. Where the hell did Aluna go? Well, speaking of killing mid, yeah, speaking of mid, Grenix is coming in. Uh-oh. He's going to use the Shadow Step right there. This should be an easy kill on a fade. Kegstun is going to miss. But it probably doesn't matter. Fade, Burning Shadows, the call, everything being used. But the auto attacks is too much. And Aluna finally ports back in. So you're like, where's... Oh, well, there she is. Just a little bit too late. And uh, easy kill coming out. So yeah, that's even worse news now. Yeah, what I like to do when, I, uh, when I'm facing a lineup that has some sort of invis hero that's going to be mid, like decide the factor who's going to win mid. You should always have a defensive counter ward on the right side or on the left side, depending on what... Like if you're Legion or Hellborn, of course. So what I think uh, SG should have done, as soon as they realized they have a Grinex, he's not on the lane, he's not going to be on the lane all the time, let's place a defensive Red Ward here right next to us. Yeah. So whenever Grinex comes, we'll see it in time. Oh. Middle lane, yeah, Flux is a little bit of pressure. Trying to hero block right here. Luna coming in, she has a power throw coming up. Going to use it, it's only level one though. The auto attack goes through, but Flux is just too damn tanky. Engineer in the meantime, is he tanky enough? He already took the time to Nice pull in from Flux. To help him get away, might not have matter anyways. You see Aluna, she's going to use a haste to kind of dodge the Kex down, but in the end, no kills happening. That's much better for Lions, though, because, again, a lot of resources were invested right there to try to make that kill happen, any kills happen, and they don't get it. So more good news for Lions and Toronto, or not Andromeda, but Moon Queen continuing to free farm. And, yeah, Grinix at the very least staying alive. In fact, even has an assist. But Dampier, that's uh, as expected. It's once again, look at the goal for Minotaur, by the way. <laughs> That's actually a pretty funny chart. <laughs> 360 Dampier, everyone else 100 and below, basically. As far yeah. as go per minute, so not where you want to be exactly. No, it's just, I, I just feel like it's it, it's repeating from game one where they already had two lanes one as well. And it's, yeah, it's it's showing. Like, they, they need to do something early this game in order to, they, they're going to have to utilize the Dampier. The Dampier is going to be the, the factor here on SG. That's but yeah, right, right now, like you're saying, free, free heroes are below 100 GPM. That's not where you want to be. Yeah, it's, you know, again, this is the supporting cast. It's obviously has a lot of makeup room to do. 
uh, to kind of buy that time for Dampier to be able to farm. Whereas for Reliant Esports Club, you know, their supporting gas obviously much better. You got Super KGE on Flux 280 GPM. It does drop off after that, so it's not honestly much, much better Reliant side, but the Moon Crew is even 50 GPM higher than Dampier, so that itself is showing bottom lane, actually. Dampier applying some pressure to Grenix, but no one's going to die as, as a result of that. Uh, top tower, though, it's been heavily pressured. You see Kraken's here. It is not, it is in deny range, actually. But uh, unless Kraken really wants to stick around, yeah, you see Engineer coming in, and he saw him with a ward aside, so not going to happen. That should be a free tower kill, and even more of a good bo gold boost here. Alliance, there you go. So now a 3,500 lead as well as a 1,500 experience lead here. The only thing I feel like the Hellman lineup is missing is something that I really like to do, or, or see other teams do, is have a really good synergy with your suicide players. So you you mentioned the fact that Grenix Jonas moves around a lot, but they can't really do a lot of work on his lane. You know, like if they had some sort of bubbles or something that could gank along with him, it would be a lot more f efficient. But right now, it's only Grenix bottom. He's winning the other lanes for them, but they won't be able to kill the Vampire. So like I said earlier, the, the deciding factor for SG will be the Vampire, because I don't feel like Lions can gank them without them knowing about it. Yeah. So that's the only thing I feel like the Hellborn lineup is lacking, but when it comes to team fights, it's going to be, they're going to wreck havoc. Oh, and yeah. right now, they're already 3,500 <laughs> 3, goal lead and 1,500 experience lead and seven minutes into the game. Yeah. So it's... I mean, Going heavily. Is level four here, but obviously you got one. He's level six. No, bot, to, to hop lane even. Fade's actually coming in right here, but you see if Kraken taking the nuke. Fade is going to go for the opening, it looks like. There's a Burning Shadows, the Cole. Kraken running in with a torrent, but yeah, it's not even going to be close to a kill. They uh, don't have nearly enough damage at this point of the game just yet, so. Easy surviving coming out. Discharge was used by Flux, but I don't know if that was a misclicker. I feel like it was, because when he used it, nothing was really happening. He pushed them away, actually. So Yeah, but I I'm not sure it was a misclick, because since they're not going to be using it for a while, it's a very it's like a Thunderbringer ulti. You get vision of everyone. True. Okay. So I, I didn't actually pay attention to the minimap at the time, but I'm guessing there were people missing. Possibly... Like, Flux is a really good... It also reveals in this. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm, what I'm thinking here now when you're saying it is that Fade was missing from the map, and Flux is like, oh shit, he's going to gank a lane. Let's use my ulti. Where is he? Okay. And they found it out. Yeah. That's a good call. That's a good call. Yeah, that's actually probably what it was then. So, uh, Fade is invis up here. This is not her ultimate invis, though. This is the rune invis. Kind of scouted things out, but... As you can see, really not going to find too much. So, yeah, Fade is obviously not having the best start on top, and now she's spending a lot of roam time, not really getting kills. They do send Crack in mid. They're making transitions, trying to open up some farm for him. But it, it just keeps going back to the supporting cast. is just all out struggling, man. It, it just it just not is getting any better now. Again, he's going to come to the middle lane. Will they be able to make something happen here? Flux does have his ultimate ready once again. Ulti, ulti, ulti. If he does. Oh, they had a rev ward, yeah. Uh, well, they sadly showed that they had a red word, so Swindle knows that by now. But I like Swindle's movements. I like that he tried to gank top lane. If Kraken had a little more experience, they would have killed him. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, Lions have done an amazing job at keeping him low, just like game one. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, feel, they just need to get try and get a kill off with a Fade ulti. But um, if he disappears again, I feel like Flux is going to do the same thing. Where are you, Fade? <laughs> You see, speaking of being an invis, Grinix actually having some fun with torture down here. He actually even used his ultimate, the illusory assault. But that's a you know it's a fairly shorter cooldown, even though he didn't get the kill. Not the biggest deal in the world, just uh, saying hello basically, let him know that, that he's there and making him play a little more cautious. But Damp here, 410 go per minute. He's got his blood joust, steam boots, has the neophytes book here. So Light Brand's on the way. You do see the jungle is being stacked up, of course. Kraken's even, though, taking some farm over here <laughs> in the jungle. So that's never a good sign when you're, you know, your other heroes are just forced to even take some of the stacks. Well, they just need to get Kraken level 6. They cannot set up kills without a level 6 Kraken. But when he does have one, the fate's done. You just pop the Kraken ulti on top, and you have the superior medic on it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, get level 6 on Kraken. Very, very important right now. He's probably going to get it after the stack. No. Oh, damn, you're in trouble. Grinnick's open. Like, no, he gets killed by the neutrals, actually. <laughs> well, that was interesting. He actually went in to heal up and stay alive. <laughs> and I'm getting killed by the newts. Uh, so, I mean, that that's kind of good that that happened, at least. But still, he's yeah, dead. It's just amazing presence of mind. Like, 
As I feel like when you're playing against a Dampir, there's two things you're doing. One, you, well, let's just state the facts first. We, we know that they're going to be stacking their entire jungle, right? Yeah. So you have two options. You have A, you get levels, you win your lanes, then you move into their jungle by the eight minute mark and you clean out their entire jungle. If you, by, like I said, have won your lanes, they, they shouldn't be able to contest you. So you will steal around 1500 gold from, the, from your opponent's jungle. The other one is <laughs> what Joan is doing, having a good presence of mind, feeling, oh, the Empire is gone, let's find him, and get a, getting a kill on him, yeah. basically. So, I, 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 Eater is fine, and I like that Jonas went in there as soon as the Empire disappeared, realizing that he was farming the stacks. Yeah. Sadly, he died to neutrals, but it's still worth it. Still, still worth it. Yeah, and you see right there, actually, he, he was spotted by Torture, who had the Rev War nearby, so not everybody going to kill there, but yeah, he's just going to keep moving. Going to keep moving, knows that Dampier's probably in here. Sure enough, he is. Going to try to scout him out eventually. And that scout factor, 11 and a half minutes in. The Light Brand just finished on Dampier. So we'll have that now. So he says, Fade is also nearby. Is Fade going to open? She is, but nice reaction there from Grinix. He gets Burning Shadow still. The Cole on top. The power throw hits, but it's just not enough damage coming out. So he's going to survive. Fade's going. Oh, I thought that was that was Fade. The, that was the illusion. Okay. <laughs> in the end, it does die off, though. So, yeah, that's fun and dandy. But in the meantime, Moon Queen, that GPM continuing to rise. 440 gold per minute. Speaking of stacks, obviously doing her own. Right here, she's yeah. got the Whispering Helm. Yeah, you also see what I'm talking about. You remember what I said about the counter wards, right? Yeah. It's the same thing for Lions. They have a Fade on the Legion team. They're like, okay, so Fade, we completely won the mid lane. We have a Flux ultimate that can spot it, but that can spot him like we used earlier. But we could also have a secondary, like a fail safe. So they have one Red Void mid lane. Swindle walks down mid, he's going to be spotted. They have one on the right side, so he cannot go through the trees. The only place missing is right behind them in the trees. And I'm pretty sure there was a Red Void there earlier. There was, right? That's where I spotted him the first time. Uh, I'm not sure. Ex oh, yeah, yeah. That went into yeah. yeah, there was. So my, my point is that Lions has been doing an amazing work having Red Wards all over the place in mid lane, so Swindle can't get a gank off. Yeah. They're playing it really, really well right now. Yeah. And they also have a really good lane ward for their carry player at the top lane. So if Swindle is going there, I mean, since he's level 7, the ulti doesn't last very long. So they will spawn him before he goes into the ultimate. There's just nowhere Swindle can farm, and now mid is going to die. There is he. Yes, he is. Dampier coming in for some revenge, but not going to even get close to getting it. He has to run away before too much else happens. So, yeah, spending some time trying to maybe get some counter hero kills. Might need to be careful, though, because Grinnick's charging in. Gets the release up. In comes Grinnick's. I'm hearing flight going off, but not enough. Jonas a fan getting credit for the kill right there. He used his ultimate as well. Also, a nice kicks in on top of that. So the movement continuing, and yeah, now the Dampier is starting to be kept in check. I mean, he's over 400 GPM. That's what he does, but and it's obviously even less than he wanted. And release the crack, and completely missing right there. Man, Limp has just not had the best cracking games, back-to-back -back games here, and uh, that is also something that you know just isn't good. And again, the GPM chart is still something to look at. <laughs> it's uh, everyone on the Legion team is struggling other than Dampier. And it continues to show. Moon Queen 466. What did Moon Queen go, by the way? Firebrands? Yeah, Fire. I was going to say, it seems like this is the kind of game where she can risk a, to go into the Firebrand build, the very aggressive farming build. Yeah, they're, they're just going to keep up the lead. Like, there, there's like, nothing else she can do. If they just keep up the Red Voice, they keep up the presence of mind and the map awareness, they can just do this for a few more minutes and yeah. that will just increase their lead more and more. As you can see in the Golden Experience charts, they just keep going up. And, um, yeah. There's... I, I, they're just playing it very well right now, but but Vampire is farming the jungle right now. I still feel like lions should move in there, do their infamous lions gank, clear out their enemy jungle. Um, if not, I want Grenix to move in there again, find him, possibly throwing another hero in there to help him kill him and uh, yeah. just lower his farm again. Because Moon Queen's gonna out farm him no matter what, but a farm Vampire is still a scary Vampire. Yeah. So why risk it? Exactly, yeah. You try, try a gank to them here and stop him from actually snowballing. You have the lead, yeah. Why not really just push the issue? But uh, for now, cleaning up the uh, the ancients themselves. You got Fuzi. Already another 1,000 gold saved up with the firebrand finish. Uh, Flux actually picking up his portal key here. So they are ready for that NG Flux combination now, especially <coughs> with that uh, with that purchase. And I also love Grinix again this year, the fact that he can max out his passive like he does, and that, that's what allows him to do so much damage, getting the passive. Whenever he uses an ability, the Nether Strike adds 100 physical damage to your next attack. So, you know, between his Rift Stock, his Shadow Step, and the Illusory Assault, that's a lot of just bonus extra damage on those auto attacks.
and uh, something to keep in mind too. So, with that said, armor is definitely something that our Legion team needs to maybe be concerned about as Kraken charges away before too much happens there. But, uh, yeah. I want to see. Oh, there we go. Finally, Gren X. Where'd nope. No, I thought he was going into the jungle, oh. but he's actually going to sit bottom and wait wait for someone. That's not <laughs> awfully bad either, but um, like I said, there's no hero on the Hellburn team that could assist him or get a kill if someone ports here. Yeah. Oh, unless it's a torture that he's going to kill solo. <laughs> eh, bye, torture. There's a rift stock. Here's the auto attack. There's a shadow step. The auto attack. The ultimate. Yeah, he dodges the chain reactions. He's going back in. Not going to be enough for the kill, though. Uh, right. Well, he, he hasn't finished Ghost Monitors or Energizers, so yeah. I guess he felt like maybe someone's pointing. Fate's missing. Where's he going to be? Probably felt like this is the safe choice. Yeah, didn't want to chase. So yeah, not, yeah, not worth the risk. That's the last thing you want to do is feed yourself to them and help them continue to make a comeback. But it plays a safe route again. Doesn't get the kill. They did see Fate. I believe he, in fact, they are going to see him again right here. <laughs> That's actually Grenick's going to go in. The Skeleton King may even assist right here. Shadow Step coming out. No, but he used the invis. Now, well, do they have detection? There is the rev one right here. Oh, nope, dusted. He's dusted. Is he? Yeah, he is. There's yep. a the cag down. He's going to be dusted again. <laughs> and down he goes. They they even had a flux ulti just in yeah. case. Not even necessary. So Swinom Mills goes down. And again, he is really trying to be active, but <laughs> just cannot get anything here. As far as the fade movement. Now a Congor attempt coming out from Lion Esports Club. So this should be a free Congor. They also got triple stack ancient, so they can go to right after this. So this is going to be a big boost in farm here for uh, Lion Esports Club, and yeah, it's going to be 100. percent There's Staker's not even going to attempt to stop this. Don't think they could. Grimoire's finished on Chessie though. So yeah, that's a good pickup. That is. Yeah, I've heard that's a decent one. The problem is that he still doesn't have a team that could assist him because yeah. they are all so far behind. So he's going to need that PK, buy some time for his team, get get a few pickoffs. And try and turn like just, like I said, just buy some time. Get get your teammates to recover into the game. Um, yeah, they're gonna stack the ancients. The alliance is also blocking SG's ancients. SG's is not SG is not blocking theirs. That's also another factor to take in because ancients is a lot of gold. Yeah. True. Um, they're still doing a lot of stacks in the jungle, though, so that's very good. And Pierce GPM is gonna keep on rising, but so is Moon Queens. Yep. He's gonna finish his geos now. Uh, Energize should be finished on Krennic soon. But uh, yeah, they're still not moving into the jungle. They're playing very safe. Yeah, you know, this, this really comes down to that, in that case of obviously both Moon Queen and Dampier are very, very scary potential carry heroes on the scene. But it, it, it's kind of two different perspectives. You kind of touched it in the beginning. You know, Dan Pierce more of that. He snowballs earlier on. It's middle lane actually. Fade once again in trouble. Dust comes out. Will they have enough? Like, they do not have enough, actually. Did not want to commit once again. So even with the energy field, not able to chase him down. This is where Flux PK is in ultis and goes yeah. for it. I thought he was going <laughs> to do it, but uh, no, he decided not to. No, that would be a very bad idea. <laughs> but uh, no, but damn here again. He's more about the earlier snowball, where Moon Queen's the eventual later on snowball. And the pace right now, it seems like that, yeah, Moon Queen's the way the game's going for her more so, including her team support, is just that much stronger. So. Damn here, 450 again. GPM is great, but hell, we're we're, we're used to seeing 500 plus easy GPMs on Damn here at this point in, in, in better off games. So that's even not you know the most impressive by any means. But Jesse is managing to continue getting the farm here. It goes back to the Hellborn team, as you say. Didn't I mean Lions? They're maybe not playing aggressive enough themselves, but they, just they don't they, they don't have to. It's yeah. just I feel like they could secure the game by doing so. But we're, everyone, every captain doesn't have the same mind. Uh, I, this is a perfect. This is a perfectly fine way to play it as well. And as we said, they they can't use the fade right now. So, as you said, Dampier is a very scary carry, and a perfectly set up combo between fade and Dampier will drop the Moon Queen. The problem is that the flux, the rev wards. There's just no way fade is ever going to come close to the Moon Queen, so they can get a proper initiation on her. Yeah. So they're they're playing it re really damn well. I've said it several times now. So. I'm very impressed about what they're doing, yeah. and uh, just keep this up. Uh, I feel like they should at least uh, pick off the mid, like the tier one towers. Oh, uh, they're doing tier two top now. Yeah, that's that's good, of course. <laughs> Dampier is pushing the bottom one right here. Fade's coming in, but 
course, he is Invis. You see Engineer, though, has a rev and a dust on him. So, so no, we'll need to be careful about that. As they do place a rev for it actually nearby. But it uh, doesn't look like it's going to come in. So, yeah, easy tower kills. Yeah, exactly. That's, that, that's just fine to do. Bottom lane, they're trying to get the stamp here. But they can't get close. Well, the Skeleton King is here, actually. Oh, no. Damp, you're getting greedy. Never mind. He's going to be fine. He had the port key, or is he? Grinnick's coming in. Illusion's picked up. Not going to go for it. Okay. Uh, we did see Grinnick jump a Luna earlier by herself. And, I mean, Grinnick's, as he can put out some good damage. But it, at the same time, though, he's not able to get, get, come through. We saw it with Torture earlier. We saw it with the Luna right there. So he hasn't been able to get uh, most of the – he could have had even more kills if a little more damage output. But – Obviously, still doing plenty for his team in the end, and it goes back to the, always that factor—the fade factor, the Nim Four factor. You know, just the, the stealth-like factor in general, where you never know where they could be at, at points. And yeah, look at look at Tom now. He might be sending. Yeah, he definitely has to kill him toward now. He has his ghost monsters finished. There's just no way this torture torture can live, <laughs> especially with a dodge like that. Yeah. Well played right there by Jonas the fan. Yeah. There you go. That's uh, that time it worked out. He is level 11 too. So. So that helped as well. Bottom tower, there you go. So the first tower is pushing in. They're going to get the bottom tower. And middle tower, they're also going to defend. Uh, Stay great, oh. not even really going in. But out, yeah, Jonas Van gets picked off, actually. So, hey, level 16 yeah. damp here now. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they left, they left the stacks. They, sh they, they, they probably expected this and knew what was going to happen. So, um, my guess is they're not very afraid of it. They're just going to. What the hell happened there? I'm not sure. Luna died, though. <laughs> Oh, no. Okay, yeah. Flux is peaking and queued. Alright, yeah, they're going to finish all the other towers now, and I wouldn't be surprised if they actually go for the bottom racks before the token finishes. Yeah. I wouldn't think it would be a good idea, though, unless that's a big be on the career. It's a big be on the career. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's a good idea, then. Nah, they're going to port back, though. Yeah. <laughs> not going to risk it. Yeah, probably not even going to use a token at this point. If they do port top, I mean, just going to clean up that farm, though, most likely. And then uh, be done with that. So Dampier will get a little bit more time now to even get his own truck in that middle lane once again. Fade in trouble. Double Invis coming on top of it. There's the dust coming out. And Swoyd Melds again as he's 0-3-0 now. He's just, again, it's not that he hasn't been trying. It's just has not found the opportunities this whole game. They only have one kill 23 minutes in. There Stay might be counter kills. They are going for a damp here. Well, he's like, I got damage too. And he easily takes him out. Flux pulls him in. They do not have Engineer, though. Engineer is coming in. Release Crack coming out. And Dramata able to survive for now, though. She already used her swap. She's not being charged in the Flux. He pulled them with the Moon Queen charge again, trying to get a range right here. Damp here jumps back in, but right next to Moon Queen. In the meantime, Moon Queen is now releasing the Moon Finale. Down goes Crack and now goes another Damp here. Taking the damage. You see Aluna off to the side. That's Fade even. Just running away. Shrunk that pot by Moon Queen. And now going to start to fall back, turn. though. Yeah, Dampier, he, he's looking for it. He has consumed. He's going to jump in right here. The, oh, the Geometer's Pain is actually pretty good from Boozy, but it's not going to be enough. He's going to fall. Token alive, of course, going to bring it back up, though. And now Dampier is going to consume to heal up when the movement comes out. And Jesse is most likely going to fall right here. Nice fear. No, the auto attack not going off, actually. Holy crap, the portal key is, and Jesse somehow lives. Swiddlemounds is going to fall, but Jesse living. Wow, I'm uh, I'm very surprised by that, but he does live. But now they're gonna just farm some ancient. So still, the end result is actually pretty good for lines. But wow, it, it could have gone better. I mean, I yeah. I definitely thought that Empire was gonna die. I, that was very unfortunate. I just feel felt like after the ultimate pull, they were very. It felt like there were mixed signals there. Like half of them wanted to go in, and half didn't want to go in. I feel like they should have just like mad up on it because Moon Queen was very very close, but Dampier peeked it away from that fight. Yeah, and then it came back in again. But all in all, a very good team fight for Lions again, I guess. Um, a buyback was used two buybacks, right? Am I uh, right? Yep, cracking it. Yeah, two yep. two buybacks. So already used two buybacks as well as killing everyone except Dampier. So definitely a favorable fight. They're just gonna go back to farming, wait for next Congord. Well, and look uh, at Moon Queen, too. Yeah. 4,200 gold saved up, so. And she already I, has her Geos shrunken. Yeah, that's going to be a Wingbow or a Jinjiro. Possibly a Symbol of Rage. I would probably want to see a Symbol of Rage myself, because uh, I feel like that will give her enough HP that no matter if Dampier jumps her with another hero, she's still going to live mm -hmm. and be able to immediately turn by using the Symbol. So I would suggest a Symbol of Rage right here. Yeah. Yeah, but, that makes uh, sense. I mean, yeah, yeah Wingpo obviously a great offensive tool, anyways. But you know, the right-click threat isn't necessarily the most 
threatening here on the Legion side. They got a lot of bursts, so being able to heal up after that burst comes out is also just bulking up is nice. So we'll see, yeah, again, what movement goes for, but whatever it's going to be, you got to figure out it's coming shortly because he already has, again, another 4,800 gold saved up and clearing out uh, some jungle camps here in his own jungle. But damn here, that shrunken head himself is now being worked on and is actually coming up fairly quickly. He's going to take a little bit of a risk here. Okay, there's the symbol. Yep. Coming out for Moon Queen, so that is the answer. Uh, Dampier, yeah, he's going to risk a little bit, go to the bottom lane, he portal keys in even. But he's going to fall back before anything happens. Uh, but they yeah, purchased like, the symbol, they're going to push now, it looks like. Yeah, they should. Uh, well, they should, shouldn't, sorry. Uh, they should just wait for the Conger, and I think that's what they're going to do. They're going to push out all lanes, make sure they're pushed out the entire time. So when Conger actually comes, A, SG has to put, push out there the lanes, or B, Show that, hello, Ed Lions, we're coming towards Conger. Hello. If the lanes are pushed out, you can never tell if they're running straight, straight there or not. But if they are pushed out and no, one's, well, no one in SG is at the lanes, everything points towards SG is currently 10 seconds from Conger, and we should probably be aware of that. So before Conger comes out, make sure you always push out the other lanes. So that's what they're doing right now. Yeah. Might even set up a kill top. Oh, yeah, he's going to Limp's like, ah, he feels something's up, and he falls back in. Quick decision. God, Moon Queen, 716 gold per minute. Just actually really not seeing that. It's like, wow, he really is up there with the GPM. And, again, it's showing in the items, man. I mean, he already has another 1,400 gold saved up with now the symbol on top of that. So the whole discussion about what item he's going to go for next, well, hell, he's got the symbol, and now even another bigger item. So now that wing bow or that Genjiro. Very yeah, it, sh it should be a wing bow. He just needs a Genjiro. Yeah. Just make sure you mitigate as much damage as possible from Legion as well as pulling out. Of course, Wingbow is one of the best damage items in the game for an um, agility carry, so I, I, I just really don't feel like he needs a Jinjiro. There, there's just no point in it. Yeah. I feel like just mitigate as much damage as possible as well as giving yourself a huge damage uh, output. And yeah, you shouldn't be able to be killed. I already feel like he's going to be an incredibly hard hero to kill. Just pop the Geos, pop the Symbol, pop the BQB, you're back. Oh, we're going to have a fight mid here. Yep. Feels like it. They're going to protect Congor, if anything. Yeah, there's going to be a bound I use. They're trying to counter war. There's not really any vision, though, from the Legion side. So double damage Moon Queen as well. That helps. Uh, yeah, Congor is falling quickly. And I don't think Stagrin is realizing how quickly he's falling, especially with that double damage rune on him. So they're in the vicinity. They're going to check it out. They have a Luna. There you go, Power Throw. They at least spot it. So they know what's up, but it's that, it's that tough catch-22. Do we go in to die or do oh, They're going to try to go in. Fade and gets jumped on, though. Using the ultimate. Dust going to be used right there. Found as well. Here comes the jump from Engineer. Here comes Flux pulling him in. Energy field cannot get off, though. Flux now being pulled in by the release of Kraken. And Flux pushes them away, but he goes down. Moon Queen in the meantime putting an auto attack. Dampier one auto attack away. Somehow, once again, going to barely live. He goes back in. Turns on a drop. But Moon Queen, what the hell is he doing? Moon Queen stuck? He's got a geometer spin right there. He's running right now. Oh my god, he got stuck on the cliff. Fuzzy's trying to live. The moon finale comes back. He goes back in. And down goes Kraken right there as well as Dampier. So the moon finale, the bait was all there all along from Fuzzy. It was played all along. That was the plan. He's going to chase right here. He has a moon beam ready. Torture. Oh, he's just out of rage. <laughs> I cannot believe that, though. What the hell <laughs> just happened? He was stuck on the cliff. I believe it was Tsunami Charge that put him there. <laughs> And it figured his team was dying in the meantime, and he, he somehow gets a hat trick. That was a genocide with one dead hero in Hellborn, and he wow. gets stuck. <laughs> uh, that, 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 well, that's 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 interesting. Yeah. Well, the well they're they're gonna get Conger now. Then Pierre bought back in order to uh, to stop the Conger from happening, but uh -oh. there's a dead catch him. Yeah, Dampier's in trouble. He's gonna fly it away. He's hoping for the best, but that's not gonna happen. He's gonna be locked down. Dampier will fall again. Jesse does not have a buyback now. They're going to go finish off Congor. That's going to be a token and now on Moon Queen with the Assassin Shroud just purchased. Oh, so it is a ginger right now. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm still just so baffled by that. It seemed like it seemed like that was a fight for State Grand. There's, there's the vote to concede. That's it. Lion Esports Club, they take game two. And they take the series. Two games to nothing. They're moving on to the grand finals here of Psycho number six. They'll play, uh, you know, eventually if the team come for the loser's bracket. It could possibly be Stay Green again at once, of course. But, man, I mean, what a series from Lions. Both games, they just really started strong, and they just were the better team today. But uh, They played amazing. Yeah.
Not much else to say. (laughs) Crazy fight there at the end. I mean, stay green. I thought they were going to win that fight. I mean, (laughs) they, despite them getting jumped, I mean, they had the good spread early on. It seemed like Lions was overcommitting to an extent. Yeah. But, no, Moon Queen pressed R. And then that happened. (laughs) Pressed R, everyone died. (laughs) Yeah, that's... Now that's how it works, especially when there's no other creeps around or anything like that. That was a prime position for him to fight them. Jeez, that was a crazy fight to finish. But, but yeah, I mean, any other comments on that series, that, that that second game even? Very impressed by Lions. I feel like they played really good both games. Um, there's just a few things that I would have done different, which we talked about, uh, the, the Dampier stacks and stuff like that. But yeah. even then, just played the strategy out amazing, especially regarding the fade. Fluxes have a really good counter to it. As well as the Revords, all placed over mid lane compared to SG not having a single one, so Jonas could have a good impact there. Just two, two, two really good games. There's just not much else to say. It was. Really. Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot of fun to watch. I mean, it was uh, obviously a great series. As, as always, I mean, between these two teams, like I said, coming into this, they, these teams have played a lot against one another. There, it was State Green led the series 9-6 to six in games. 3-2 to two in the series victories over Lion Esports Club here in Hunter Season 2 so far. Now it's 9-8 to eight in games, and it's a 3-3 three to three series tie between these two teams. So these teams, they know each other a lot by now, and uh, they continue to have some very, very good series. So yet, once again, Lion Esports Club, they're going to come from the winner's bracket here to the grand finals. But we know, we know what State Green has done before. In fact, just this last cycle, they came back, and they eventually won that series in the grand finals, coming from behind, being down one nothing at the start. So... Uh, it's it's not over just yet, but the Lions got to be feeling good about that one, getting to the grand finals, and they'll be up one nothing, of course, whichever opponent they face. Uh, with that said, in the losers bracket, the Internet Gangsters versus Reason Gaming series looks like that one's over, and uh, IG actually won that series two games to nothing. So uh, IG is going to be moving on. That means Internet Gangsters will be playing Stay Green tomorrow in the losers finals, and then the winner of that, of course, will match up against Lion Esports Club in the grand final. So, as always, you know, things are shaping up very nicely here with cycle number six and a lot of fun matchups definitely uh, to come at us. So, yeah. again, that all starts tomorrow at the same time, 12 p.m. Eastern, 1800 Central European time. And don't want to miss that. So, are you going to be tuning in tomorrow, Mr. Zlapt? Um, Maybe. I, pr- I probably am. I, I guess I am. I'm, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I am. <laughs> of course you will. All right. Yeah, well, with that said, man, any final words you want to get? By the way, thank you once again for co-casting. No problem. Uh, well, really just one. Um, you guys most likely know about Denial Esports. Uh, I just have one thing to say. Uh, considering what you said game, the first game, that Nox is moving to Thailand. Yes. Uh, v and Sensation is no longer with us. Really? We stopped playing with him a week ago because V and Sensation is going to Thailand. <laughs> what the hell? So we're going to have a Nova, wow, Emperor, okay. Vian Sensation, and Nox, and one Thai, Thai person playing for Impunity Storm. <laughs> and uh, wow. I stepped up as a new captain, as I talked about today, probably. Um, and we're gonna, we picked up support. So Cool. Support from V to T. Yeah. Uh, well, old, old V to T is our new player, and uh, we're happy with that. And uh, we're looking forward to the future. Oh, yeah, definitely, man. Grats, uh, well, definitely, that's a good pickup there. I mean, uh, grats on the captain role as well. Sure. Yeah, well, guys... it's, it's, it's fun. Just yeah. a little bit <laughs> inexperienced, but uh, I'm yeah. getting in there. Got to learn somehow. Um, yeah. No, yeah, you guys obviously have, you've, you've definitely been proving yourselves. So you've been a lot of fun to watch, and your fan base is obviously there. So I look yeah. forward to continue watching you guys as. Uh, as Han Tour continues, so that's going to be fun to see how that shapes up. But wow, VN Sensation going to Thailand as well. Holy crap. Yep. <laughs> Got all these uh, NAU players uh, going to Thailand all of a sudden. We'll see if uh, what kind of trend continues there, but uh, that's going to be fun. All right, so that's going to be really fun now to see what that team does over there. And uh, the possibility of maybe seeing him in the grand finals of Han Tour, wouldn't that be something? Yeah, that would the, be fun. The grand grand finals, so... Anyways, once again, thank you, Slap. Where can people find you, Slap? What is your stream? Twitch.tv slash 2 easy T-W-O-E-Z. There you go. It's, uh, yeah, I stream every day, except Saturdays, so. Yes, you do. A lot of fun to watch, too. Twitch.tv slash 2 easy And, yeah, thank you for having me on the, stream, uh, on the cast, of course. It was nice to be here. And, uh, I mean, it was a while since last time, so yeah, it, was, it was fun. Definitely. Fun as always, man. Fun as always. Yeah. Uh, all right, guys, we're going to be wrapping up, so definitely thank you, as always, for tuning in. Obviously, tomorrow... Again, we're going to be coming back 12 p.m. Eastern, 1800 Central European time. We got Stay Green going to be playing Internet Gangsters in the Losers Bracket Finals. 
And then Lions will play the winner of that up one game to nothing in a best out of five grand finals. As always, another great Sunday ahead of us. Psycho number six is going to be wrapping up tomorrow. You do not want to miss it.